Baby, you're the best thing, best thing move Baby, you're the best thing, best thing smoke Baby, you're the best thing, best thing that ever happened to me Baby, you're my good thing, good thing now You gon' be my good thing, good thing forever Baby, you're the best thing, best thing that ever happened to me To me, you are Hey everyone, how are y'all doing out there? <sighs> of course, I would not have liked to make this uh, video, but I feel that it is necessary for the culture, for me, for my spirit to just release all of this that's inside of me. Um, you know, we lost our beloved DMX in the past couple of days, and I just needed to get on here and just celebrate him, you know? Of course, you know, I've been back and forth in my emotions. I've been mourning. I've been in a celebratory mood. I've been mourning again. But at the end of the day, and what I've learned over the past few years, is it's best to try to celebrate a person's life versus mourning their death. Um, you know, and have to look on the brighter side and just say, hey, we had this person for X amount of years. We should be grateful and that's the attitude I am taking right now. Um, DMX is a staple in the rap community. Um, I, I hold him up here, you know, with the bigs and the pox in terms of his influence. And they don't make DMXs anymore. They, there would never be another DMX. I mean, I was a probably a preteen when he came out and... I must say, <laughs> I'm an 80s baby, and we I feel we had the most lit uh, rap experience. I mean, we experienced Biggie in real time, Pac in real time, DMX in real time. We had all the eras where black record companies were thriving. We had Death Row, we had Bad Boy, we had So So Death, we had Rough Riders. I mean, Loud Records, we can go on and on and on, and... It was just so great. That time was just popping. I mean, <laughs> it kind of leaves me speechless. You know, I feel like the generation before us or after us cannot necessarily um, have the same experience we've had. Um, you know, a lot of these artists provide the track uh, list to our lives and the soundtrack to our lives. I mean, DMX, his music, it automatically will make you happy. It can make you sad. It can make you, you know, just reflect on life. And that's what I loved about him. He was so versatile. You know, he can make a slipping. He can make a get at me dog. He can make how's it going down. Like he, the only other person that I feel like it was as versatile was Tupac. Tupac could make a bring a, Brenda had a baby, hit him up, you know, California love. Like the day of the versatile artist is kind of dead, I feel, you know, with today's rappers. And DMX was one of those rappers. He was 100% transparent. I mean, he was so special. I mean, to have that street cred and rough exterior, but be vulnerable and just be able to talk about God and to be able to cry in front of us and just show his humility it is priceless. You know, you could just tell he was at the end of the day a good person, a good soul, and he just wanted to be happy. He just wanted peace. He just wanted to have a good life. And not to say, you know, he probably had great days, I'm sure, but overall, it did seem like he suffered a lot. He dealt with a lot of, you know, addiction issues and childhood issues, and I hated that for him. You know, a part of me always felt that he would kick his habit and become a preacher because I just remember like buying his CDs and listening to every song. You know, it was rare to find a CD where you can just play the whole CD through without skipping songs. And one, you know, his CDs, you could just run it straight through and he will always have prayers in them and they would hit hard. They were powerful. I mean, his prayers hit harder than a lot of 
prayers that, you know, and sermons that I've listened to in church. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he was real. He was very authentic. He wasn't flashy. He didn't care about jewelry or cars and clothes like that. You could just tell he was very humble, very simple person. And it's rare. It's rare to find that you guys like he he will be missed. You know, what's funny because a couple of weeks ago I was talking to my mom and a family friend and he was telling me how he knew DMX as a kid and he had roots in our neighborhood. You know, DMX is from Yonkers, but he did move around a lot. And, you know, I'm from Harlem and, you know, it's kind of cool to know like, hey, somebody I knew knew DMX, you know, you know, the childhood DMX. And that that was cool to me, you know, to to experience the stories that our family friend told us. And, you know, I I just, you know, choose to celebrate him like I've been listening to his music, you know, throughout the past few days. And I've always listened to DMX. I've always followed him. I mean, he provides great anthem, pumped up workout music, you know, it's just crazy how just artists that experience so much pain in life, but they can also provide so much relief and happiness in others. And it seems as though he did not completely find that peace in himself, which is very sad. You know, I just tell he was just a giving person. Everyone that I've seen posted something or a story about him just shows how, you know, giving he was and, I honestly haven't heard a bad story, you know, about DMX. Of course, the media tries to spill this whole addiction and, you know, no, it's it's not that, you know, deep at the end of the day, he was special to us and it was a blessing to witness his talent in real time. And I'm going to celebrate him, you know, his energy, his spirit, he was anointed and, I just love that man. Like guys, it's just, it's just a lot. You know, he's just very special to me. Um, I will always celebrate him. He will always live through us, through his music, through his voice. I did hear that he finished a new album. So hopefully we'll be able to experience and listen to this new music. And, you know, DMX, we love you. We appreciate you. I pray for all of his family, his friends. Um, I know they are in deep mourning right now, and I just wish that you lift them up in prayer and cover them, God, because losing someone like him is hard. You know, I'm just a fan and I'm mourning, so I know his close friends and and loved ones are dealing with it as well. Um, But guys, I just want to just, you know, talk a few things about DMX um, and just celebrate him and just talk to you guys. So... Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.